friends, hear the wisdom from the book of Romans. We believe that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor power nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Friends, today is Decoration Sunday and normally we would be gathered here in the cemetery to honour those people who have gone before us and paved our way for the life that we have. I know many of you have more than one generation buried here and perhaps even have a plot waiting for you when your final resting time comes. One of the things that I really like about Decoration Day is when we're able to get together, I have met people who no longer live in the community but still feel that they come because this is where their roots are. Now I have to say, I've always envied people who have roots. As many of you know, I was brought up in a military family and so we moved around an awful lot as a kid. I don't think I stayed anywhere more than a couple of years and then up and moving again. I've always envied folks who could come to places like this and say, these are my people. This is my place. The people who are buried in this cemetery were not famous or celebrities, but we know something of who they were and we know what they stood for. We know that they believed in hard work. We know they believed in family. They cared for their aging parents and grandparents and they laid them to rest. And all too often, they also had to lay their children to rest. They carved the names of their parents and their children in these stones because they were worth remembering. And they set aside plots for the end of their own days. When it was their turn to be laid to rest, they passed on their farms or businesses, their wisdom and love, and they gave us their graves to attend. Attending these graves and these cemeteries is not a job for just one person or a few people. It's the responsibility that we all share. Tending a grave and caring for a cemetery is a very real way of showing and saying that we take very seriously the values and the responsibilities that we have inherited from those who are in their final resting place. It reminds us that we have been given something from the past and that we will have to pass that on one day. The word gospel is from a Greek word meaning the good news. For gospel people who have inherited the faith of their fathers and mothers, a cemetery is a place of good news. The cemetery tells us that we need not fear death because nothing can separate us from the love of God. The cemetery reminds us that the ordinary names on the tombstones, names that are well known to us and some only known to God, that these people have been called to take their place with God. That was the hope that sustained our ancestors in their last days and like all other good things from the past that they've given us, they pass on this hope to us as well. May we who gather here today virtually share and live into that hope showing that hope is necessary in a world without hope fears death let us pray O oh God before whom generations rise and pass away we praise you for your servants who having lived this life in faith now live eternally with you we praise you for the gift of life and honor those who are buried in these graves. We praise you for the grace you gave them that kindled the love of your name and enabled them to serve you faithfully. We thank you that they have entered the joy you have prepared in your eternal love. <laughs>